spray snow. It's no spray safe. Well, the stuff that's actually used in it's meant to be non-toxic. Don't try it. I already know not to go sniffing glue. It's the same sort of thing. One of the solvents used in these is dichloromethane. Dichloromethane is very similar to something else that you might have heard of called chloroform. Chloroform used to be used as an anaesthetic because it's very effective at knocking people out. Most of the time people came around without too many problems, but people stopped using it as an anaesthetic because sometimes people wouldn't wake up. So when you're using snow spray, you need to make sure you're using it somewhere well ventilated, ideally outside. If you do inhale the solvent, it can cause various problems. It can give you a headache, make you feel dizzy, nauseous. And if you have got a pre-existing heart condition, if you breathe too much in, it could be enough to kick you into cardiac arrest. And But if you're outside, the gas will spread out easily. It's like if you think about pouring a bottle of Ribena in some water. Or any other squash. Other squashes are available and delicious, and I am not secretly sponsored by Ribena. Pour your bottle of Ribena into a glass of water, then there's going to be a lot of Ribena. If you pour your bottle of Ribena into a lake, and then fill your glass with the Ribena lake water, there's hardly going to be any Ribena in it. In the same way, if you spray your can outside, the solvent's going to go into the air, there's hardly going to be any solvent in the air you're breathing. If you spray the can inside, the solvent's going to go into the air in the room, there's not as much air in the room as there is outside, you're going to be breathing in more of that solvent. So it's pretty, just be sensible with it, and um, don't set yourself on fire either. Short one today, hope you found it interesting. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share the links. See you tomorrow. Oh,